Hey guys, I wanted to give a little update on my uh, RPG. So um, I've been working on it pretty hard for the past couple days. Um, today I just finished uh, setting everything to be more uh, exploit and hack proof. Um, so in other words, I put everything into um, containers that are kind of like cross-referenced into private variables. So in other words, I have publics that can only be read but can't be set unless they're in from the script. And then I have public voids that can only be executed if a private boolean is present. And the reason I'm doing this is I don't want people using memory editors in the MMORPG and I don't want them using um, uh, debuggers to be able to like change stats and money around. So I, ha I have everything set to um, private or by read only. And just, it's it's a pain because when it, you have something that's supposed to be public to be changed, it's kind of difficult to be able to change it in other things. With So the only way you can do it is by having a, a public void that will access those for you, right? And then that way it can be changed by another public variable like the money that's being dropped. And then that can only be referenced if it has its private very like limiters. So, for example, when I have my level up, I'm going to have a private integer, and it'll be set to 10. And so, for example, if you're leveling up, and your stats points, because that will have to be public, are greater than 10, then they'll automatically be set to 10, right? There's no way to make them pass that, because there's a private limiter that I have hidden in code. So this way, people couldn't just, like, keep adding, you know, points in a memory editor. It'd be impossible because it would just keep resetting to 10 if they did, if they try it. And then there'll also be a private boolean, which means if they've clicked the accept button, that gets turned off and there's no way to turn it back on unless that it's been privately set on. Yes, again. Just little things, you know what I mean, to stop it to where people can't really cheat and make the game miserable for the, the people that are playing legitimately. But that took all day to do. It was such a pain. So, um... Yeah, and then I also got finished with my damage logic um, by calculating um, defense and attack and dexterity privately by still being able to reference each other. It's because, like I said, I have all my character stats on read-only, so this allows them to be influenced by the defense on the character. As you see, if I go to 1,000 defense, it only does one damage. Because I'm not going to have zero damage. I think that's ridiculous. And then if I give him negative 10,000 health, he's given a... Oh, I'm just going to die real quick. He's going to be given a, a smaller value that, you know, allows more damage. Because I'm actually going to have a debuffer that will lower defense. Um, I'm going to have spell books in the game. And I want to do something unique. I want actually you to be able to build spells. And so there's going to be, like, obviously base ones, but I want to create cool professions in the RPG, which allows you to kind of get your own, like, custom spells. So, like, you can have one that kind of, like, lowers the dexterity and defense of the enemy, and then that way you hit more often and you hit harder. So I want to allow negative defense values, so I just did that to, you know to have more variety in what I can do. And then I had to set a math that floor so this way I couldn't have things that weren't whole numbers. I hate using floats because I hate it when they get into integers and like they're like 0.0.1, 0 .0 .1, right? Um, I just don't like that because when you're adding, when you're calculating that kind of stuff, um, you know, like if I was doing damage and I didn't floor it, it would say like the damage was like 31.78. Nine, eight, seven, and would like go on forever. Like it's cool. It's annoying for uh, readability. But yeah, so I got all this set up. Um, pretty cool. Um, for some reason that the six happens because it's the last updated function when my hitbox turns on. I know how to fix that like logically, but to implement it, I'm just gonna take a, it's just gonna take some debugging. But yeah, it's the only error I have with damage right now is they'll have like the the very last hit that gets loaded. Um, gets loaded, and then also it it's, seems to be double hitting. So every single time the hit box, the damage box turns on, it sometimes yeah, see, it does double double damage accidentally. Um, whatever.
But yeah, pretty 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 much getting a lot more done. Um, I'm gonna add in a um, a, a public static that can be accessed through the player script and this way the public static can use private variables like the enemy's attack strength dexterity and then this will allow it to do damage to the player and the player can detect it because it's using a public static but static variables cannot be changed outside of its parent's class and the only way that it can be used is if it's being referenced by any particular um, classes in the brackets. So I like it because I'm going to be able to use it, but you can't you can't edit it, so it can't be used. In, it, it, you can't. It's pretty hack proof. Um, yeah, I, I I had to re rewrite everything today, and it's just made me really stressed and mumbly because uh, I did some research online about people that are making MMOs, and I was playing some indie MMOs. Thank God, there's so many people that, that hack, man. There's people that will ban people. It's just like any, every indie game seems to be that 16-year-old, I'm going to buy a debugger fantasy. Go, oh, look, I'm so cool. I'm a hacker. It's like, dude, you're dealing with a guy that tried to literally program something by himself and was just trying to get it done in a time frame. You know what I mean? And now you're, you're taking advantage of that person's um, lack of... Uh, of capital like i don't i don't have the money to hire other programmers with me so i gotta do everything myself so i'm just trying to be as hack proof as i can so people have as enjoyable experience as they play it well i guess that's my, uh that's it for the episode and then i'm gonna give like one little tiny easter egg for anyone that's watching um these training dummies are very special uh when you play my game they have um special loot um, all my loot in the game is going to have level, level limiters, except the tutorial gear. The, uh, well, I mean, it still will, but it'll be at, like, level 20 value, like, level 20 value. So, in other words, you'll get, like, a level 1 with, like, really good gear. And you'll get stat, like, temporary stat bonuses and stuff. It'll, it'll be nice. And then, um, you can, if you collect all the parts from the dummies while you're attacking them, you can put them together to make a special pet. Now, I will be honest, the, the loot chances per hit for a piece to fall off is going to be pretty low because I want to keep it where the market can't get saturated by people selling these, but it will be high enough to where like if you grind here for a little bit, you will get all the pieces. And the pet that it will make is also very strong. Um, I'm going to have pets that will be, be based off of rarity, right, by what type of creature you tame, and then also what their level was. And these training dummies, again, they're gonna be they're gonna be like equivalent to getting like a level thirty mob with like a really um, high tier indoctrination um, thing. I, I don't want to give it all away yet, but um, they're like you're gonna have levels of things that will unlock the the base stat potential of an item, and then also it'll be judged by the level of the of the automaton or creature that you're taming or creating. And this will essentially eliminate, these training dummies will eliminate the need to have like a, a higher level kit. And it'll be, it's nice. So like I said, definitely use, do the tutorial. You'll learn all about the game when this comes out. And you're going to have a lot better stats. Um, and I mean better items and a better pet. So it's definitely worth it. You'll only be able to get the advantage if you do the tutorial. And, you, and if you skip, you skip it. You can't do it again. So... Just a heads up.